Starting your explanation and conversation with you is going to put your spouse in that defensive mood. If you say, you're never home, so I'm feeling lonely, it's going to sound like you're accusing them. So instead, you could say, lately, I've been feeling lonely. I guess it's because we've drifted apart and don't have the common interests that we once did. So your goal is to really not put the entire blame on your spouse. Instead, avoid blaming anyone. Even if you believe they caused the divorce, avoid mentioning it. Instead, tell them how you're feeling into the marriage and don't have to get into the specifics right now. Honestly, but not brutally honest with your partner about why you're asking for the divorce is what's essential. After all, you want a peaceful ending. Most people do, right? So don't add fuel to the fire of the marital conflict that's already at hand. So start by acknowledging the problems by saying, we need to discuss the future of our marriage. Or I have been feeling unsure about our marriage and I'd like to talk about it. Perhaps you could also say, I've been struggling with our marriage for some time and I'd like to discuss it with you. Following those statements, you might be able to say things like, I feel like we've grown apart. I think we should consider a divorce. Or, I think it's time we discuss the possibility of a divorce. Lastly, I've been unhappy in our marriage for a while. I think it's time to start talking about a divorce. Remember to use more of that we and our rather than I. Otherwise, you feel like it's for the best of both of you in this situation. So I believe it's time for us to consider ending our marriage. I think it's in both our interests to consider separating. I feel it's time we talk about the state of our marriage and possibility. Those aren't gonna work as good for you. So also leave the past grudges out of the conversation. Avoid criticizing your spouse for their past misbehavior. It won't leave the conversation anywhere good. 